This video is called Stretching a Photo Over a Face, and it goes with Chapter 7 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, this is basically the third video in the series for this chapter that talks about mapping images to uh, faces in a SketchUp model. All right, so what we've got here is we've got kind of a photograph of this building that I would like to stretch over the face here that I have so that I can start modeling this building right here in SketchUp using the details that I have in the photograph. You'll notice I have windows and doors. I even have this little guy in a brown jacket, this nice little crep sign or whatever that is in the photo. I think I took this picture in Italy. Anyway, the problem is when I took the picture, uh, I couldn't help getting this kind of distortion. You notice how it kind of bows in a little bit and it looks narrower at the top than at the bottom? Well, that's really normal for this kind of photo. Uh, these kinds of photos that you take of things that are taller than you and you're not far enough back, they're going to look distorted like that. But you can actually use SketchUp's Texture Tweaker feature to uh, fix those photos if you'd like. And this is how it goes. All right. What I'm going to do is select the face that I'd like to work on. And then uh, the book actually says to go to the Edit menu, and then Face, and then Texture, and Position. But there's actually an easier way to do that. What I'm going to advise you to do is just right-click on the face that you want to edit, and then choose Texture from down here, and then choose Position. And when you do that, you're going to end up with, depending on what mode you're on and what you've been doing in SketchUp, you're either going to end up with four pins that are four different colors, or you're going to end up with four pins that are yellow. Now, when the colored pins are present, you're in fixed pin mode, uh, and that's not the mode we want to be in for stretching the photo. What we want to be in is not fixed pin mode. We're going to deselect fixed pins, and we're going to make sure that those pins are actually yellow. And when the pins are yellow, then we're in uh, a mode that we can use to stretch the photo over the face of the model, um, almost as if the photo were printed to, to a piece of I don't know, lycra or spandex or something like that. So the metaphor here is you take a pin, you stick it, watch, I'm going to pick up a pin, I'm going to stick it in my photo somewhere, and then I'm going to stretch the photo based on where that pin was. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Watch. So let's do that a little bit more precisely. Let's zoom in on where that pin is. Here's what I'm going to do. Click on the pin to move it around. So what I'm not doing is dragging right now. I'm just clicking on it, and then I'm not even kind of clicking on the mouse button right now. I'm just moving the pin around. I'm going to move it to where I want it. I'm going to say I want it to be right here exactly on the corner of the building. Let's zoom out a little bit. And now to move the photo with the pin, I'm going to click and drag. So I'm holding my finger down on the mouse button now. I'm dragging up to that corner of the building, just like that. Now all you have to do is repeat with the other four corners of the building here. So let's do that. I'm going to click to pick up this pin, and then I'm going to set it down on the corner of the building. Now it looks like this building top is kind of coming across there. I might have to sort of guess to see where this is going to go, but you don't have to be super accurate right now. You can always fix it. So what I've done is I've picked this pin up, positioned it where I want it to be, and now I'm going to drag it over so that I'm stretching the building. And you'll see there's come kind of some weirdness up at the top here, um, but I can go back and fix that later, so let's, let's not worry about that right now. Now what I'm going to do is pick up this pin down here. Let's kind of set it right down there. Let's kind of stretch it down to the bottom. And we're going to do one more. Let's pick up the last pin and set it right here and then stretch that texture so it's right there. And you'll see that we're getting closer, right? That face, we've got the building and it's more or less stretched there. It looks like this pin up here in the upper left corner is a little bit low, but if we sort of pick that up a little bit and then just kind of stretch it up, we're sort of fixing things. The trouble is that seems to be messing up this side. So it looks like there's sufficient bowing. Either the building itself is crooked or the photo is crooked, or something was off, but basically it means that there's going to be a little bit of distortion in the, in the texture, and there's not a whole lot you can do with that. If you want to get kind of advanced in Photoshop, or even split this into two faces in SketchUp, then you can do this independently and stuff. But for our purposes, I'm going to say this is kind of close enough for jazz right now. Once I've got the pins positioned about where I want them, I'm just going to right-click on this and say Done. And now that that is selected, let's just deselect what you've got is that photo that's been stretched to meet the face or to fit the face of this building almost exactly. And if we kind of go down here in the corners and check to see if it's okay, it's more or less okay, but let's say it weren't. Let's say I wanted to make an adjustment. I'm just going to repeat the process that I did before. Right-click on the face, choose Texture and Position. I'm going to get my yellow pins back, and now what I can do is just kind of click up these pins and move this thing to kind of tweak things just the way I want. Oops, what I did there was 
moved the whole thing by accident. So let's just kind of um, reset out of here. And when I reset, what it's done is it's actually moved the whole thing back to the way it was. So that's probably a good opportunity to go through this whole procedure again. Watch. Right click, texture, position. I'm going to pick up these pins one by one and throw them exactly where I want them to be. So let's stretch that there. Once you get the hang of this, it's actually pretty quick to do. We're going to toss this pin into there and just kind of stretch it down over to there. Let's move this down over here. Uh, I'm going to pick up this pin and set it down here in the corner of the building just like that and drag it up to the corner and we'll pick up this pin and throw it right here and we're going to drag that up to that corner and what we've got now, I'm going to right click and say done, is the building more or less accurately mapped. But you can see that you can get there pretty quickly and then you can go in and be anal retentive if you want and kind of do them one at a time. What I'm going to do is actually, I'll, this photo is actually available on the website, AidenChopra.com or SketchupForDummies.com, depending on which one you want to do. Um, and you can use exactly this image to kind of practice your texture tweaking if you want to. All right, that is the end of this video called Stretching a Photo Over a Face for Chapter 7 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.